Taste is the sensation produced when a substance in the mouth reacts chemically with taste receptor cells located on taste buds. Taste, along with smell and trigeminal nerve stimulation, determines flavors of foods or other substances. The tongue is covered with thousands of small bumps called papillae, which are visible to the naked eye. Within each papillae are hundreds of taste buds. There are between 2,000 and 5,000 taste buds that are located on the back and front of the tongue. Others are located on the roof, sides and back of the mouth and in the throat. Each taste bud contains 50 to 100 taste receptor cells. The sensation of taste can be categorized into five basic tastes – sour, salt, sweet, umami, and bitter. Taste buds are able to differentiate among different tastes through detecting interaction with different molecules or ions. People who have a lot of papillae often find flavors overwhelming. They are super tasters and as such, they add cream to their coffee and order food mild instead of spicy. Subtasters, on the other hand, have low papillae density and prefer their chicken wings atomic. Individual taste, however, isn't simply about papillae. It also has to do with our bird's ability to detect different molecules. Although our brain can recognize the same five tastes, the suit of chemicals that can trigger those signals varies from one person to the next. Along with environmental and cultural factors affecting our food choices, there is evidence that genetic makeup influences how we experience taste. The basic taste of sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami are detected when chemicals that produce those tastes bind with certain receptors on our tongues. We all have different amounts of these various receptors depending on our DNA and research has shown that sensitivity to one particular bitter compound varies widely between different countries. In some parts of Asia, South America and Africa, as much as 85% of native populations are highly sensitive tasters. Ethnic Europeans sit at the lower end of the scale, but one study shows that we can also learn our food tastes. Fetuses and breastfed babies can taste what their mothers eat and have been shown to develop early affinities to certain flavors in their mother's diets. And when we start eating solids, our concept of acceptable foods evolves quickly. Over time, the way we perceive certain flavors is programmed according to how we usually consume them. Traditional European gastronomy is all about pairing foods that share flavors, but a 2011 study found that Asian cooking does the opposite and avoids combining similar flavors. The researchers reached this conclusion after identifying the flavor compounds in 381 ingredients that are used internationally and then studied 56,498 recipes containing them. You might not know that multinational companies alter their products for each market. Take fast food. In China, KFC's headline product is a chicken burger and both McDonald's and KFC have much more visible salad content in recognition of the three food groups necessary in every meal – grains, proteins and vegetables. And rice remains more common than fries. But whatever our taste might be, it's the diversity that makes this world so much interesting. What's your favorite dish by the way? Put it down in the comment section below. Have any suggestions or questions to ask? Put them down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to read them out. And make sure you follow us at Facebook, Twitter and Google+. You can also visit our website alldayscience.com for the latest science news. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.